It's a tricky question because to a large degree, the way you find soulmates is from your existing group of friends, right? And so you groove together and you, you have the same vision and you like the same things. And so you know, by, na by nature, it's just sort of the proximity that, that you find these soulmates. And, and sometimes you're thrust together as roommates or you know, whatever. Um, the danger in that is that sometimes, because of the proximity, you, you, know, you make your, 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 your roommate the CTO. And then in, in a year, you know that this person is not a CTO anymore. This person is really sort of an entry-level programmer. But because he's your buddy or she's your buddy and they were a founder, so now you're stuck. And, and you know, that person feels like they have to have the word chief somewhere in their name, uh, their title. Uh, that's the difficult part. But um, I think a soulmate is, to a large degree, about your social, the, the, your social circle. I mean, it really is. The, the way I found soulmates for my companies was people I just had known for a long, long time. Um, and it is a difficult process and a tricky process because at many points, you know, one of the hard things to do is when a soulmate is not fulfilling the function. Very difficult thing. But at that point, what you have to remember is that your responsibility is to the company. It's not to the person, it's to the company. Um, but it's still difficult to implement then.